Well, yep. Okay, I will go ahead and call um, tonight's meeting to order. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for joining us, and special thanks to Troop 173, the Scorpions. Um, they are sponsored by the Green Hill LDS Ward. Thank you for joining us, and good luck on your either a merit badge or community service, something, something. What, is, what are you here doing? Shenanigans. <laughs> Shenanigans. Well. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us. Um, item number one is roll call attendance. Mr. Clerk, will you please call roll? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councilmember Milam? Here. Councilmember Burnt? Here. Councilmember Palmer? Here. Councilmember Little Roberts? Here. Councilmember Kavanagh? Here. Councilmember Borton? Here. Mayor DeVeard? Here. Item number two is the <coughs> Pledge of Allegiance. If you all rise and join us in the pledge to our flag. Item number three is our community invocation. Tonight we'll be led by Trey Drake with Calvary Chapel here in Meridian. Thank you, Pastor Troy, for being here. I would like to ask you all to join us in the community invocation or take this as an opportunity for a moment of reflection. Mayor and council members, let's pray. Well, God, thank you so much uh, for this time we can gather. Um, you, know, you said that if we would, uh, uh, you just asked us to humble ourselves and to call on your name. So that's what I'm doing here tonight. And I just thank you, God, for this country that we live in, that we have the freedom to pursue you or not, Lord, that we have the freedom to uh, elect the people who represent us and to live where we want and pursue our dreams. And, and we just appreciate that because not everybody has that. And and God, we just also are grateful for this great city uh, that we have here in Meridian. And I just pray for all those who are in leadership uh, over it. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, of course, the folks that are uh, gathered here in front of me, as well as um, uh, all of the, um, uh, the leaders and those who uh, keep watch over things to keep it safe, the, um, you know, the first responders, the law enforcement officers god we just appreciate them so much and thank you um, that we have this this place and we pray that there would be peace tonight and that uh, those who are um, afraid would find a, a place of solace and and those who are hungry would also find a place where they could um, receive uh, what they need so god um, lastly i just want to pray for um, uh, the the council and the mayor that you give them a lot of wisdom and I know you care about all the, the small things, Lord, and uh, they're not small to you. And so we just ask that you would preside over all these things and, um, and bless uh, these people who represent. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God Thanks, bless Pastor. you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Item number four is adoption of the agenda. Madam Mayor. Mr. Borton. We are going to... Uh, Move from the consent agenda, six P's and Paul is going to be a new 7A. Um, and item 8A is being amended onto the agenda, and that's the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council update. And with those two changes, I move that we adopt the amended agenda. I have a motion and a second to adopt the agenda as amended. All those in favor say aye. 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 All ayes. Mr. Clerk, under item five, I believe we have one sign up. Thank you, Madam Mayor. We do. Uh, Kim Foss would like to address the council. The topic is unleashed dogs. Okay. Yes. So my name is Kim Foss, and by way of background, um, I moved to Meridian in January of 2018. I served in the <coughs> Marine Corps for 22 years, and as such, I have lived in many, many places. Um, the reason I'm here is to raise awareness about unleashed dogs. Um, they are presenting a threat to our community, 
and there doesn't seem to be a lot of action. Um, I have a small puppy. He's an emotional support animal, and we were attacked while walking in La Mirada. Um, several weeks later, I saw a gentleman walking with an unleashed dog. While I was driving in my car, I pulled over and I said, do you know that there's a leash law in Meridian? And he started gesturing very aggressively at me and said, I know, I don't care, move on, mind your own business. Um, I have testimonials from several people who have, I mean, there have been two children attacked recently by unleashed dogs. Um, my son is 14. He was coming home on his scooter at 7 p.m. He was knocked off his scooter and attacked by a yellow lab. He was able to get away with scrapes and swelling on his ribs and hands. Um, my 11-year-old was bit in Bernie Glen a few weeks ago by a dog that got loose from an owner. Um, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of proactive things going on. I mean, there's, and, and Lady Mayor, your office responded and said, we work in concert with other people, call animal control, but by the time you call animal control, the dog is gone. <coughs> um, so I am asking for people, I mean, what's it gonna take? Somebody to get killed by an animal? There are children running everywhere in our neighborhoods. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's what I've got. I, I, just, I just think we need to do more. Thank you, Ms. Fossa. We appreciate your passion and that you reached out. And the public comment um, portion is to take testimony. And um, we will see if council would like to have further conversation and let you know when that would be on the agenda. So we could perhaps ask our police department, you know, what are we doing proactively? Certainly, um, we can invite our animal control um, folks in as well. Okay, thank you very much for your thank time. Thank you, and and I I know everyone has a story on this. It, it is an issue. Um, my mom was attacked <laughs> and had serious wounds. So, it, and she doesn't live here. So, Bay was in another city, but it's an issue in all of our communities that we do care about. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. <clears throat> thank you. Thanks. Welcome to Meridian. <clears throat> Any further sign ups? Okay, thank you. Item six is our consent agenda. Uh, Madam Mayor. Mr. Bort. With one removal of item P, I would move that we approve the consent agenda to the mayor sign and clerk to attest. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda with the removal of item P. Mr. Clerk, will you call roll? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councilmember Milam? Aye. Councilmember Burnt? Aye. Councilmember Palmer? Aye. Councilmember Little Roberts? Aye. Councilmember Kavanagh? Aye. Councilmember Borton? Aye. All eyes, much carried. Item 7A is um, from 6P, which is approval of tax task order with McCall Studios. And, um, Mr. Borton. Madam Mayor, the request was made by Councilman Palmer to remove this for some discussion. Okay. Madam Mayor. Mr. Palmer. Uh, the reason I asked for it to be removed, as I'm sure everyone is shocked and wondering why on earth I would uh, want to have a discussion, have an opportunity to vote no on it. Um, in, in a year where we're currently on a budget that we, that this council um, took the full 3% tax increase that we could, um, essentially is a statement that by taking the max that we're allowed to do, that if we were allowed to do more, we would have because we don't believe that we're able to, to fully operate um, on the max amount of funds that we can force um, come our way. So in, in a year that we're doing that, I don't feel it's appropriate for us to spend what would equal the entire Meridian City portion of 80 of our families' <clears throat> property taxes um, to what 
would no doubt be beautiful signage and art um, upgrade to a park. But again, that's 80 families entire Meridian City portion of their property taxes going to this in a year that we said that we taking everything that we possibly can isn't quite enough to meet what this council feels would be appropriate funding for the city. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other comments? If not, I would entertain a motion. Madam Mayor. Mr. Borton. I don't necessarily agree or necessarily track the, the basis for the objection necessarily. Um, I think art is an integral part of our community as it grows, and I think we went through that when this was approved previously. So um, I would move that we approve the task order from McCall Studios for Renaissance Park um, Identity Public Art Project not to exceed $40,000. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Clerk, will you call roll? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councilmember Milam? Aye. Councilmember Burnt? Aye. Councilmember Palmer? No. Councilmember Little Roberts? Aye. Councilmember Kavanagh? Aye. Councilmember Borton? Aye. And the ayes have it. Thank you. Item 8A is under the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council. And I see Ben here to um, give you an update on what our youth council members are up to. Hey, Ben. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Hi, Mr. Burnt. So an update on uh, the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council is we recently had our first volunteer service fair. With this, we partnered with the Meridian Library, and we had over eight people come last Saturday to uh, experience what a volunteer service fair would be like and possibly talk about having a recurring event for the future. Uh, it was a great success, and we are nearly positive it's going to be happening every year now. Uh, we also had our Valentine's Day party on Valentine's Day. We had over 15 people come, and uh, it was bringing everybody together. Everybody <coughs> was playing games, and it was a great time. And then we also have um, officially decided on our participatory budgeting project. Uh, we took it to a vote in our previous meeting. We met with professionals. We had uh, some city council members with us. Thank you. And we made the most educated uh, decision we could based off the vote, and we're ready to be moving forward into the future with it. Which means you'll be back to exactly. council to present it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We're just finishing everything up, making sure that our presentation is as uh, great as we possibly can get it. Thank you. And you have Do the Right Day coming up? Yes, we do. We have Do the Right Day coming up that we're uh, currently planning on. Uh, we're hoping it's as big of a success as it was last year. Uh, we have tons of stickers, tons of uh, ideas. Our next meeting we're going to be planning um, primarily while uh, the re a majority of our council is going to be in NLC. Uh, we're going to be planning on do the right day and figuring out exactly what we want to do and how to make it even better than it was last year. And what date is do the right day? April 4th? April 5th. 4th. 5th. 4th. 4th. <laughs> 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 do the right days. Both. Let's do it both. I say do the right days every day, actually. So. And what is do the right day? Well, do the right day is a movement of kindness uh, that we celebrate every year in the city of Meridian, where we look to someone on our right and someone on our left. We do something good for them, and we make sure that we do everything that we can in the city um, to just make sure that everybody is doing the right thing and we're helping each other out. Thank you, Ben. Thank, Thank you. you for letting me put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Palmer. Ben, is, uh, are any members of my act doing anything significant next week? Come on, man. Yes. yes. You're going um, to NLC, right? Yeah, NLC is next week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mayor. Ben, what is NLC? Well, NLC is the National League of Cities Conference in Washington, D.C., which I was blessed enough to go to last year, which was really great and integral to my uh, leadership training. Uh, we were able to receive uh, speeches from guest speakers such as uh, Cory Booker. We were able to hear from Ben Carson. We were able to hear from all these different perspectives that we normally wouldn't be able to hear from. And I think it was a really, really great foundation to the leadership training that the executive council got last year. And I know that with the amount of people that were selected this year, they're all going to do great things with the information that they get and bring back to MIAC and the community at large in Meridian. That was legit answer. <laughs> that was legit. It's making up for my April 5th. <laughs> <laughs> 
Any other questions? From council. We should update Ben. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you, joining us. Okay, we are um, at item nine under action items. Uh, under this, I wanted to just give you an idea of what the process is under action items. Um, I know it's all detailed out in your agendas, but um, these are land use items uh, looking for city council's recommendation on how to move forward. Uh, we start with staff presentation that uh, gives an overview of the application and staff's uh, review that meets um, our plans. And then the applicant gets up, has 15 minutes to give a presentation. Um, after that presentation, we open it up for public comment. Uh, the city clerk will read off the names that have um, signed up in advance. At the end of that, um, if you have not signed up but want to provide testimony, I will open that up and invite you forward. Our public testimony um, process is three minutes, and you can track your time on the um, podium on the screen so you know exactly where you're at. After public testimony is taken, the applicant has an opportunity to respond to any of the questions or comments that are made during that public testimony period. At that point, city council can ask staff, the applicant, or any follow-up with any of the citizens that they might want further information at that at point. Then they'll close the public hearing, um, make a determination. So with that, I will um, open the public hearing for Rackham Subdivision H2019-0005 and ask for staff comments at this time. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the council. Uh, the first application before you tonight is a request for a development agreement modification. Uh, this site consists of 51.59 acres of land. It's zoned CG and is located east of South Eagle Road on the south side of I-84. A um, little history on this property. Uh, this property, along with the property to the south, was annexed into the city in 1995 with the CG <coughs> zoning district. And a conditional use permit plan development application was approved for a 700,000 square foot retail center, as shown on the... Uh, conceptual development plan here at the upper left hand corner of the screen. Um, that PD has since expired. As a condition of annexation, the applicant was required to enter into a development agreement prior to submittal of a preliminary plat application to include the provisions in the findings of fact and conclusions of law. However, because annexations cannot be conditioned and the property was annexed without a development agreement, the city attorney has deemed compliance with the provisions of the annexation are not required and the current CG zoning governs future development of the site. The comprehensive plan future land use map designation for this property is mixed use.